Welcome to Hopkinton High School. Another beautiful day as the Hopkinton Hillers softball team get ready to take on the Millis Mohawks. The Hillers coming off of a big win over at Bellingham High School in which we had coverage for you on HCAM. A three to two win against the head coach of the Hopkinton Hillers fathers team, Dennis Baker Sr. And that put the Hillers in first place in the TVL and gave them some separation. And they are feeling good heading into today's contest against a young Millis team. And despite Millis being four and eight on the season, a good amount of talent on this Mohawk squad. It should be a little bit of a challenge here today. They have some pretty good hitters. A pretty good pitcher will be throwing today as well for the Mohawks as Emily Malowitz is going to make her fourth appearance on the mound this season. She's a freshman and expected uh, to do big things for the Millis Mohawks. A 280 ERA on the season. She has pitched five innings so far, but she's getting some great experience as a freshman and the starter today against the Hopkinton Hillers as we are just about set for softball. It is a beautiful 70 degree day. The sun is shining and Juliet Hume is set to go. Let's take a look at the Hillers diamond. Juliet Hume on the mound. Lizzie Kelly, the catcher. Jenna Bogan at first base. Molly Bennett at second base. Kate Wellzell, the shortstop. Nikki Como at third base. From left to right, Kayla Sullivan, Hannah Ingstrom, and Renee Cooprider as Abby Pyenson steps to the plate and awaits the pitch. As Hume deals, and there is a strike. Let's take a look at the Millis batting order. Abby Pyenson, the center fielder, starting things off. Emma LaCroix, the shortstop, batting second. Emily Malowitz, the pitcher, batting third. In the cleanup role is Sam Cullen, the catcher, as that pitch down low. Abby Wine batting fifth, playing third base. Alex Hill batting sixth, playing first base. Colby Zatoli playing left field, batting seventh. Amanda Gwinden is batting eighth and playing right field. And Sabrina DeBona batting ninth, playing second base as the bunt was laid down by Pineson, pulled back their strike two. A one and two count. As Hume is set to deliver. And that is tipped foul. Count remains one and two on Abby Pineson. Pineson, a 465 hitter on the season, just a sophomore for Millis. Only four seniors listed on the roster for the Mohawks. We are just about set for the bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers batting order. Hannah Engstrom will lead things off and play center field. Molly Bennett will bat second and play second base. Lizzie Kelly, the catcher, batting third. Kayla Sullivan in the cleanup role, playing right field. Kate Wellzell, the shortstop, batting fifth. Jenna Bogan, the first baseman, batting sixth. Bree Marabli, the designated player, batting seventh. Nikki Como, the third baseman, batting eighth. Renee Cooprider playing right field and rounding out the order. And Juliet Hume, the odd man out of the batting order, and she is the pitcher. We'll take a look at the Millis Diamond in just a moment. Emily Malowitz, the pitcher, set to deliver to her battery mate, Sam Cullen, behind the plate as Hannah Ingstrom steps in. Malowitz, just a freshman for Millis. That pitch up high. Playing first base for the Mohawks is Alex Hill. Sabrina DeBona, the second baseman. Emma LaCroix, the shortstop. Abby Wine at third base as Malowitz set to deliver. That pitch is in there for a strike. From left to right, Colby Zatoli, Abby Pyenson, and Alex Ginden for the Millis Mohawks. And there is a swinging strike. Millis two and eight in the TVL, four and eight overall. And they are looking for the upset here today in Hopkinton. On the ground, up the middle, fielded at short. Throw to first, was a little off, but is able to get to Alex Hill in time for the six to three, and there is one away. A 
They'll bring up Molly Bennett for the Hillers. She takes a pitch inside. To the set, and that is low. Molly Bennett, a 464 hitter on the season, has scored 16 runs and driven in seven. And that pitch inside. A three and O count on Bennett. To the set, up high, and Bennett gets the free pass to first. They'll bring up Lizzie Kelly. Lizzie Kelly, a senior, a 421 on the season, has driven in six and scored 12. Runner takes off from first, throw to second is going to be just late. And Molly Bennett with the stolen base. It's Molly Bennett's sixth stolen base of the season, six for six in steal attempts. That pitch just inside. A two and O count. Lizzie Kelly awaits the pitch and there is strike one. Two and one. Malowitz to the set. That is inside, three and one. Emily Malowitz, just a freshman for Millis. There's a strike, three and two. And a good overall athlete as well. On the ground, up the middle, and it is bobbled by the shortstop, and everybody's safe. So Lizzie Kelly reaches on the error. Molly Bennett advances to third, and that'll bring up Kayla Sullivan. That took a little bit of an awkward bounce before it got to LaCroix. And the bunt pulled back. Runner takes off from first. And there will be no throw. Lizzie Kelly with a stolen base. Kayla Sullivan leading the TBL in home runs. Five homers. She hit her fifth home run against Bellingham last Friday. That pitch up high. Two and O. Oh. That was Lizzie Kelly's first steal of the season. And there's a strike, two and one. Kayla Sullivan has been terrific, especially in the cleanup role. A 486 batting average. Has scored 17 times as that pitch up high. She's driven in 22. And is a threat to hit a home run on any given pitch. Malowitz delivers just high, and Sullivan draws the walk. The base is loaded, one out for Kate Wellzell. Wellzell at a 350 mark on this season. And now there's going to be some discussion over the lineup card with the umpire. As Millis head coach RJ Maturo out to talk with the umpire. And in the meantime, Millis will have a little discussion in the pitcher's circle. Millis infield. Now it could be a number mix up because I was looking at the lineup earlier and there may have been a number mix up with Molly Bennett. That could be the discussion. But not quite sure exactly what it is. He seems to be pointing over towards 
third base. And it looks like they were just straightening, straightening out a mix-up of some sort. And we are ready for more softball. Kaywell Zell is having a good season. 350 at the plate. She's driven in eight, scored 11 times. And now has a big opportunity with bases loaded. The infield is playing in, expecting a potential bunt attempt. And this is hit in the air to shallow right field. Running in, not able to get there. In time is Ginden. One run scores, two runs will score. And the runner, Kayla Sullivan, will advance to third. So Katewell Zell advances to second on the throw in. It's a two RBI hit. As Bennett comes around, Lizzie Kelly comes around. And Kayla Sullivan at third. It's 2-0 Hillers, and now Jenna Bogan at the plate. As the lefty awaits the pitch up high. Bogan, a senior, hitting a 483 on the season. She's played in 11 out of 12 games for the 11 and 1 Hillers, and this is foul towards the Hillers dugout area and Coach Baker. Bogan has driven in 13 and scored three. She also has four doubles and two triples and a home run. This is on the ground, first base side. It is gloved by the first baseman. She'll step on a bag, but the run will score as Kayla Sullivan comes around on the RBI sacrifice ground out. It's three to nothing Hillers. So two outs in the inning now and Bree Mirabli at the plate. And there's a strike. Malowitz to the set. Upstairs. One and one. Rabli a junior, 250 at the plate. Is their 13th at bat? Is that pitch inside? She did a great job as the starting pitcher in the early goings of the season as Hume was unavailable as their strike two. Rabley pitched the first five games this season at a .45 ERA and went four and one. And she is likely going to take over that starting role next year for this softball team as that pitch up high, full count. Malowitz to the set, this is hit. A liner in a center field, that'll drop down and another Hillers run will score. Katewell Zell comes around, an RBI single for Mirabli. And that'll bring up Nikki Como, the third baseman. It's now a four to nothing lead for the Hillers. Como at a 3.33 on the season, takes strike one. She has driven in 11, scored four. Wind up and the pitch on the ground, foul, third base side. Oh and two. Malowitz to the set. Runner takes off from first, throw to second is not going to be in time. Third stolen base of the inning for the Hillers. Malowitz awaits the sign and deals. There is a strike and that'll be out number three, but not before the Hopkinton Hillers Put up four runs in the bottom of the first. We head to the top of the second. Hillers on top, four to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Angels Garden Center, located at 65 School Street, growing in Hopkinton since 1957, 
bedding, container plants, vegetables, culinary herbs, bark mulch, firewood, and more. Visit them online at angelsgardencenter.com. We are set for the top half of the second. Due up for the Millis Mohawks is Alex Hill, Colby Zatoli, and Amanda Gindin. As Millis trailing early four to nothing after the Hillers had a four run bottom of the first. As now the umpire talking with Coach Baker Jr. Let's recap the bottom of the first. Started off with a Hannah Ingstrom ground out. Molly Bennett would then walk. Lizzie Kelly reached on an error by the shortstop. Kayla Sullivan walked. And then a two RBI single by Kate Welzell. And Jenna Bogan comes through with an RBI sacrifice ground out to drive in Welzell. Uh, excuse me, to drive in Kayla Sullivan. And then an RBI single by Bree Mirabli to drive in Welzell. And that is how the Hillers got four runs in the bottom of the first as Alex Hill to the plate. Hume delivers, swinging strike, a blazing fastball. To the set. That is down low, one and one. And this is on the ground, up the middle, gloved at shortstop, throw to first, in time. Nice job by Wellzell. And a nice job by Jenna Bogan scooping it out of the dirt. A bit of a low throw, but there is one away, and that'll bring up Colby Zatoli. Zatoli, a senior, 115 hitter on the season. Hume to the set, upstairs. Hume awaits the sign and delivers. Bunt pulled back, strike one. Hume to the set. There's strike two, swinging strike. Hume to the set, down low. Two and two. There is strike three, a swinging strike. That is Hume's second strike out of the game. And now Amanda Gindin will come to the plate. She is a freshman. And that bun is in the air and caught by Lizzie Kelly. And that will be the third out of the inning. They go down one, two, three. And we will head to the bottom half of the second. Hiller's on top, four to nothing. Bottom half of the second. Due up for the Hopkinton Hillers. Renee Cooprider, Hannah Ingstrom, and Molly Bennett to face Emily Malowitz. It's a four to nothing Hillers lead. Malowitz set to deliver upstairs, one and oh. The Hillers 11 and one overall, 10 and oh in the TVL. There's ball two. Hillers had eight hitters come up to the plate in the bottom of the first. Clouds starting to move in a little bit here. Is that pitch in there for a strike. Slight breeze coming in as well. Malowitz delivers up high. Three and one. And this Millis team, look out for them in the next couple years. They're a very young team. Only four seniors on the roster, three of which are available. Is that pitch up high? And Coop Ryder draws the walk, but they're one of those young teams on the uprise. And that'll bring up Hannah Ingstrom, grounded out her last time up. Coming into this game, Ingstrom, a 343 hitter, has scored 14 runs, driven in nine, is now in an infield discussion in the pitcher's circle. And 
Carlos infield trying to calm down Emily Malowitz. Malowitz, not a whole lot of experience in the, as a starter this season. She's only thrown five innings coming into this game. And this is actually her first start. As runner takes off from first, the bunt was laid down, but she was unable to make contact. Strike one, another stolen base for the Hillers. Coop Ryder with the steal to second. Ball got by Sam Cullen behind the plate. Malowitz to the set. Ingstrom swings, a little bloop shot towards the fence at center field. That drops down for a hit. Coop Ryder is going to be waved around, and she will score the fifth Hillers run. Engstrom aboard with the RBI double, and it's five to nothing Hillers. That'll bring up Molly Bennett. If she got a little bit more of a swing under that one, that one might have left the ballpark. But a great hit there by Engstrom. As this is a little liner towards second base, the throw to first in time. But that'll go down as a sacrifice. Ingstrom advances the third. And that'll bring up Lizzie Kelly with one out, runner on third. <coughs> Malowitz to the set. There's strike one. Malowitz set to deliver. Down low, one and one. Lizzie Kelly reached on an error her last time up in the first. To the set, upstairs. Two and one. And Millis, they've tried out a couple pitchers this season. As this is hit in the air towards right field, and it is caught by Ginden. Ingstrom will tag and score the sixth Hiller's run. So an RBI sacrifice fly out for Lizzie Kelly. And it's six to nothing, Hopkinton Hillers with Kayla Sullivan coming into the plate. Two outs, base is clear. To the set, hit in the air, that'll drop down into left field for a hit as Sullivan will round first and head to second, a stand up double for Kayla Sullivan. And I'll bring up Kate Wellzell who had a two RBI single her last time up. Malowitz to the set. Upstairs. And there is ball two. Well, Zell leading the team in batting average will pop up here and it'll be gloved by the shortstop. That will be the third out of the inning, but the Hopkinton Hillers plate two more runs and lead six to nothing heading to the third. We are set to enter the top half of the third inning. It's a six to nothing Hopkinton Hillers lead over the Millis Mohawks. The Hillers looking to go 11 and 0 in the TVL. Due up for the Mohawks is Sabrina DeBona, the second baseman, Abby Pints in the center fielder, and Emma LaCroix, the shortstop, the 9 1 and 2 hitters. As Juliet Hume set to deliver, two strikeouts so far for Hume. Millis went down 1 2 3 in the bottom of the second, or excuse me, the top of the second. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM as the bunt is foul behind the backstop, 0-1. Oh okay. 
Hume to the side infield in on the corners. And it's for that reason is that bunt foul. Debona, a freshman. A lot of freshmen on this roster. They actually have three freshmen listed and five sophomores. Very young team. Is that pitch down low, one and two. Hume to the set. Swinging strike. That'll bring up Abby Pyanson. It's the third strike out of the game for Hume. Pyanson popped out her first time up. And she looked like she was thinking about a bunt there, but stays put and takes ball one. Hume to the set, just high, two and oh. Hume delivers, there's strike one. The two and one count, a pretty good turnout here today for this one. Hume delivers, bunt down the third base line, and no one there to cover first. The throw will be late. Molly Bennett rushed over from second base to cover first. Jenna Bogan was playing in. But a nice bunt by Pyanson, and she reaches. That'll bring up Emma LaCroix. Hume to the set. Upstairs. Lizzie Kelly thought about a throw down the line, but back to the bag is Pyanson. Hume to the set, just low. And it's interesting, Hume will throw, during the course of a game, a lot of balls, but she does not walk hitters all that often as that one fouled away. On the season, Hume has only walked nine hitters. That's out of the 134 she's faced. There's a strike, two and two. Hume awaits the sign and deals. Upstairs, runner takes off from first. The throw nearly in time. Well, Zell went to swing the glove back, but was unable to tag Pyanson, and Pyanson has the stolen base. Good play by Well Zell, though. A three and two count. And that is low. LaCroix draws the walk. It's the second walk of the game for Hume. Now Malowitz will come up to the plate. The pitcher. Swinging strike. Lays that one right by her. Hume to the set. Bunt laid down up the middle. Hume will throw to first and get the sure out. Both runners will advance. Runners on second and third with two outs. That'll bring up Sam Cullen. Hume to the set, down low. Hume awaits the sign. Fouled away, one and one. Hume delivers. And this is a little bloop shot and a nice catch by Jenna Bogan. And she was just able to get the glove up there. Looked like it might float over her head, but she does a great job extending the reach. 
and making the catch for the third out of the inning. We will head to the bottom of the third. It's six to nothing, Hopkinton. Bottom half of the third, a six nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. A nice turnout for a beautiful day of softball. Due up for the Hillers, Jenna Bogan, Bree Mirabli, Nikki Como. The six, seven, and eight hitters in the Hillers lineup. As Malowitz out there for another inning of work. Set to deliver to Jenna Bogan, who had an RBI sacrifice ground out her last time up. That pitch fouled away, 0 oh and 1. To the set. And that pitch just outside, 1 and 1. Wind up and the pitch. And that got a piece of her. Bogan will have the free pass to first. Looked like it went off her cleat. And that'll bring up Bree Mirabli. Mirabli coming through her last time up. An RBI single. Score the fourth Hiller's run. And this is hit in the air towards center field. And arranging under it to make the catch is Pyanson. One away. Nikki Como will come up to the plate. She struck out her last time up. Malowitz delivers. That is outside, 1-0. Malowitz to the set. And there's strike one, one and one. Up and the pitch, inside, two and one. And that is inside, a little chin music. Three and one. To the set. Little bloop shot, and it is in foul territory. And in and out of the glove of the second baseman. And actually, it looks like that one's going to be called fair. So they give her the bag, and she gets the base. reason why that was fair is because the second baseman in fair territory when it went off of her glove. The ball would have dropped foul if she just let it drop as that pitch up high, but since the second baseman had her foot on the field to play when it went off of her glove, that is indeed a base hit, or an error in this case. Glove by the shortstop, throw to first base, one away. Runners advance to second and third. Six to three for Coop Ryder. Advances Bogan third and Como to second. And that'll bring up Hannah Ingstrom, who had an RBI double her last time up. Just last inning. Big opportunity here. And this is hit in the air. A little bloop shot foul territory, third base side. No one gets to it in time. Oh, and one on Ingstrom. Malowitz to the set. Inside. Malowitz delivers down low, two and one. To the set. That is just inside, three and one. Down. 
Malowitz awaits the sign and deals. And this is hit in the air, foul. Three and two. Malowitz set to deal. Hit in the air, and it is in foul territory, third base side. Left fielder Zatoli rushing over, unable to get to it to go past the fence out there. Cow remains full. To the set. This is hit in the air towards left center, and that'll drop in for a hit. One run around to score, and a second run comes around to score. It looks like maybe a little miscommunication between Zatoli and Pyenson, as that one drops in. A two RBI single for Hannah Engstrom, and that'll bring up Molly Bennett. It is an eight nothing Hillers lead. Molly Bennett has walked and had a sacrifice ground out. Engstrom takes off from first, throw to second. Is not going to be in time, and it's a stolen base for Engstrom. No and one on Bennett. That pitch down low, one and one. Engstrom took a big lead off a of second. Definitely a threat to take off for third. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike. One and two. Melowitz awaits the side. That's down low, two and two. To the set. Hit foul off the backstop. <clears throat> to the set. And there is strike three. So Malowitz gets the K, but not before the Hillers put two more runs across the plate. It's eight to nothing heading to the fourth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, attorneys at law, serving central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions, guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence, Fletcher Tilton, visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. As we are set for the top half of the fourth inning, an eight nothing Hillers lead. Two up for Millis, Abby Wine, Alex Hill, Colby Zatoli to face Juliet Hume, who so far has pitched a nice game, three strikeouts. He's given up two hits so far and walked two. Wine steps in and awaits the pitch. Millis has their work cut out for them to get back into this one. It's down low, 1-0. and oh. To the set. On the ground, foul, third base side. One and one. And this is chopped into left field and gloved by Kayla Sullivan for the first out. That'll bring up Alex Hill to the plate. Q 
Hume set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, played at short, throw to first in time. Two away. Now Colby Zatoli will come up to the plate. Hume set to deal. And this is a liner right back at Hume and she'll Love it for the third out. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth. The Hillers leading Millis eight to nothing. Every ring. Bottom half of the fourth inning, some defensive changes for the Millis Mohawks. Abby Wine moves over from third base to pitcher. Sabrina DeBona is the third baseman. Moving to right field was the starting pitcher, Emily Malowitz. And the second baseman is Brenna Nelson for the Mohawks. Brenna actually came in a couple innings ago early on. As due up for the Hillers, Lizzie Kelly, Kayla Sullivan, and Kate Wellzell. An 8 nothing lead on the bottom of the fourth. Malowitz went three innings, giving up five hits. Eight runs, not all of them were earned. As the first pitch is in there for a strike. She walked three. Had two strikeouts. To the set, on the ground, third base side, and it's bobbled. And Kelly will reach on the error. It's the third error of the day for Millis, and that'll bring up Kayla Sullivan. Six of the eight runs were earned. That pitch up high. Wine delivers and that is hit foul down a third base side. Abby Wine has pitched 14 innings so far this season. Has given up 34 runs, 27 of them earned. As she delivers, this is a little bloop shot, right field, getting under it and making the catch is Malowitz for the first out. That'll bring up Kate Wellzell. It's been a struggle for Millis to Find consistency on the mound this season as that pitch inside, but keep in mind it's a young team. A couple years, this team is going to be a very much improved. A little pop fly and making the catch is Sam Cullen behind the plate, two away. I'll bring up Jenna Bogan. She had an RBI sacrifice ground out in the first, was hit by a pitch and scored a run in the third. Wine delivers, fouled away behind the backstop. 0 oh and 1. Wine to the set. Upstairs, runner taking off from first, throw to second, not in time. Lizzie Kelly with the fifth Hiller's stolen base of the day. Wine to the set. Hit in the air, foul, one and two. Wine is set to deliver. That is just outside, two and two. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, foul. Kind of 
Count remains two and two. As the lefty steps back in and awaits the pitch. This is a little pop fly, third base side, and just not able to get there in time was Emma LaCroix. Looks like maybe the wind toyed around with it a little bit. Count remains two and two. Line set to deliver. Outside, three and two. Good battle here between Jenna Bogan and Abby Wine. Line deals. And this is a liner, and that'll drop into left field for a hit. The run will be waved around. The throw will not be in time. It's nine to nothing, Hillers. Bogan advanced to second on the throw in, an RBI single. Her second RBI of the day, Lizzie Kelly comes around to score. That'll bring up Bree Mirabli, who has scored a run today. Scored it in the third after reaching on an error. Wine set to deal. Swinging strike. 0 oh and 1. Line deals on the ground, up the middle, past the glove of the shortstop, and Bogan is going to be stopped at third. Runners on the corners with two outs. Nikki Como will come to the plate now. And with a nine nothing lead, if Como does something here, could be in mercy territory. To the set, and there's a strike. Rabley thought about taking off. She's caught in a bit of a pickle. The throw to first is going to be thrown home, but not before Jenna Bogan comes around to score. So the diversion works. Mirabli gets second. Bogan comes home to score. And this is a little bloop shot over the head of the pitcher. And LaCroix came to try to dive in. And it went off of her leg, it looked like. And that'll put runners on the corners. A little bloop shot single for Como. Mirabli moves to third. Renee Cooprider at the plate. A 10 to nothing lead for the Hillers. This has happened a couple times in Millis. They get the two outs and just can't close. There's strike one, 0 and 1. Line deals. This is sliced foul, first base side, 0 and 2. Line set to deal. Sliced foul along the third baseline. Count remains 0 and 2. Line to the set. Liner shot into center field. Drops in and a run will score. 11 0 Hillers. RBI single for Coop Rider. And now Hannah Engstrom will come back up. It's her fourth at bat today. She is two for three. Three RBIs and a run scored. That pitch outside. It's an 11 to nothing Hillers lead. To the set, and there's a strike. One and one. Why 
Nine set to deal. Inside, two and one. To the set, and there's strike two. Wine deals, that's hit foul behind the backstop, count remains two and two. And delivers. Ingstrom gets a piece, but it's foul. If Ingstrom reaches, that means the Hillers would have batted around in this inning. All three runs have scored with two outs. Looks like they're chasing some softballs down. That's the delay as they're running out of them. A lot of foul balls hitting to the woods today. Ingstrom awaits the pitch. Line to the set. Just outside. Three and two. Hiller is on first and second, two outs. Line delivers. That is low, and that'll load up the bases. Molly Bennett will come up to the plate and the Hillers have batted around. The line up and the pitch is up high. Wine delivers inside. The way this will work is Nellis will most likely get their at-bats in the top of the fifth. And if they're able to get within 10, the game will continue. There's a strike, two and one. And facing Juliet Hume, they certainly will have their work cut out for them. Wine to the set on the ground, right up the middle, off the glove of Wine. She picks it up, throws the first, and gets the final out of the inning. The Hopkinton Hillers bat around and plate three more runs. It is 11 to nothing, heading to the top of the fifth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. We are ready for the top half of the fifth inning, an 11 0 lead for the Hillers. And coming up to the plate for the Millis Mohawks is Brenna Nelson, took over at second base back in the third. Julia Hume out there to try to get the complete game. This is mercy territory here. So Millis, they have to try to get within 10. They'll pitch down low, 1-0. and Hume set to deal. There's strike one, 1-1. One and one. Awaits the set, 
And delivers. Strike two. Had Nelson confused with that pitch. Hume to the set. Down low. Two and two. Hume gets the sign and deals. Three and two. This is what Hume does constantly. She'll have a lot of battles with hitters. And there's strike three. Nelson goes down swinging. That'll bring up Sabrina DeBona. Freshman. So far, DeBona struck out in the third. Hume gets the sign and deals down low, 1-0. Hume to the set. There's a strike. One and one. Hume delivers. There's strike two, one and two. Hume gets the sign. Upstairs, two and two. This is hit in the air, foul territory. Count remains two and two. What a season Juliet Hume has had so far. Only two runs she's given up were the two against Bellingham from last Friday. There's strike three, two away. That'll bring up Abby Pyanson. Hume a .39 ERA heading into this game. A 6-0 record. She delivers down low. That's in 36 innings pitched. Has given up 10 hits, three runs, two of them earned. Has walked only nine, struck out 74. Hit in the air, and getting under it is Molly Bennett, and she will make the catch for the third out of the inning. And we are going to see if this game will continue right now as the Hillers heading over towards the bench area. And as of right now, it looks like they are going to continue this one. So we will come back with a top half of the sixth. Bottom half of the fifth inning, the Hillers leading 11 to nothing. As they will come back up to the plate. Starting things off for the Hopkinton Hillers will be Lizzie Kelly. Coming up for her fourth at bat of the game. Abby Wine still out there on the mound for Millis. Wine delivers, this is sliced in the air to left field, that drops in for a hit. Just past the reach of Emma LaCroix, the shortstop, and Kelly's aboard with a single. That'll bring up Kayla Sullivan. Wine to the set, runner takes off, throw to second is not in time. How about that, a six stolen base for the Hillers. As that pitch down low nearly got away from Cullen behind the plate. Actually, technically that is recounting. It's 10 stolen bases for the Hillers in this game. 
Line delivers, there's a strike. Because you had Bogan and Mirabli take off both at once, which allowed Bogan to score a run in the fourth. Hit in the air to right center towards the fence. That drops down for a hit. Sullivan is going to be waved around. Excuse me, Lizzie Kelly waved around. Sullivan reached second on the double. Then the ball got away. And that run looks like it is going to do it. And the mercy rule goes into effect. It's actually a 12 run mercy rule this year. And that was an RBI double for Kayla Sullivan to drive in Lizzie Kelly. And that will wrap things up. A 12 to nothing victory by the Hillers in a mercy shortened game as they get the job done against the Millis Mohawks. And the Hillers just showing off their bats today against a couple of young pitchers for Millis. The Hillers improving to 12 and one on the season. We'll take a short timeout, come back and wrap things up. The Hopkinton Hillers get the best of the Millis Mohawks today in a mercy shortened game, a 12 to nothing final and five innings played, or four and a little bit more. But the Hillers getting the bats going against a young Millis pitching staff in the Mohawks. They're a young team. They had a freshman out there starting today, but they'll certainly be developing nicely over the next couple years. And look out for this Millis team in the next couple years as they're getting a lot of freshmen and sophomores in the starting lineup and getting them some pitching experience. So a young Millis team here today fell to an experienced Hopkinton Hillers team. Let's recap how this game went. We'll go right to the bottom of the first. Uh, Millis was scoreless on the top half of the first. Bottom of the first, Molly Bennett would walk with one out. Lizzie Kelly then reached on an error. Kayla Sullivan walked, and then a two RBI single by Kate Welzell. Jenna Bogan with an RBI sacrifice, followed by a Bree Mirabli RBI single to make it four to nothing Hillers. Then in the second, the Hillers tacked on two more runs. Renee Cooprider started off the inning by walking. Hannah Ingstrom would drive her in with a double. And then a sacrifice ground out to push up Ingstrom to third. And then our Lizzie Kelly came through with a sacrifice fly out to make it six to nothing Hillers. Two more runs in the third inning would score for the Hopkinton Hillers. A two RBI single by Hannah Ingstrom with two outs drove in Jenna Bogan and Nikki Como. And then in the fourth inning, the Hillers ended up batting around, putting up three more runs. Lizzie Kelly started off reaching on an error. Kayla Sullivan and Kate Welzell then both flew out. You thought Millis was perhaps going to get out of the inning easy. Well, if you thought that, you thought wrong. Jenna Bogan, an RBI single. Bree Mirabli, a single. Nikki Como, another single. Renee Cooprider, an RBI single. In the meantime, Jenna Bogan also s stole home on a double steal as Bree Mirabli stole second. Jenna Bogan took off from third and crossed the plate for the that would be the uh, first run of that inning. But the Hillers get the job done by tacking on one more run in the fifth inning. An RBI double by Kayla Sullivan to drive around Lizzie Kelly, and that would put the mercy rule into effect. It is a 12-run mercy rule this year. So the Hillers getting it done early in the bottom half of the fifth, and they are still undefeated in the TVL as they improved to 12 and one. Overall, 11 and 0 in the TVL. Millis falls to 4 and 9 on the season, 2 and 9 in the TVL. But once again, Millis, they're a young team. They have a lot going for them, and they certainly have some talent that should develop nicely over the next couple of years. Another gem by Juliet Hume. She goes five innings, giving up two hits, no runs, two walks, five strikeouts. As for the Millis. Starter Emily Malowitz, she went three innings, giving up five hits, eight runs, six of them earned, three walks, two strikeouts. Abby Wine pitched one-plus innings, giving up six hits, four runs, three of them earned. Millis scored no runs on two hits, committed three errors. The Hopkinton Hillers scored 12 runs on 11 hits and committed no errors. Well, the Hillers bats, they got things going today, and it's a nice way to start off the week for the Hopkinton Hillers as we are 
entering the last couple weeks of the regular season. So the Hillers, they have a really good opportunity if they can keep winning to position themselves nicely for the postseason. That is going to wrap up coverage of Hopkinton Hillers softball from Hopkinton High School. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for joining us for this broadcast of Hopkinton Hillers softball. Thank you.